So autism is an incredibly heterogeneous condition and that, that really causes a number of uh, problems. Um, there are over 150 genetic variations that increase the likelihood of an autism diagnosis. Um, but genetic changes are only seen in about 20% of autistic people. So um, it, it's we're still trying to struggle to determine the, the causes of autism. Uh, it, it's also important to know that subsets of autistic individuals have a number of co-occurring conditions, including intellectual disability, epilepsy, anxiety, and sleep disorders. And currently, there is no highly accurate biomarker or blood test for diagnosis of autism, uh, which is currently based on behavioral characteristics. So treatment currently is also based primarily on behavioral strategies because the biology of autism is not far enough advanced to offer targeted treatments for the challenges of autism. Well, let me um, just say that uh, uh, there are also issues related to understanding the gene expression in, in autism. One of is, those is that um, there are all of the genes that we now know that increase the likelihood of autism are relatively rare. So you have to uh, recruit large numbers of participants in order to determine uh, gene variants that might actually really meaningfully uh, increase the likelihood of autism. So there's another Simons Foundation program, for example, called SPARC, uh, that has already recruited 275,000 participants. And and looked at the genetic architecture in over 70,000 of those. And, and uh, Spark is actually one of the main contributors to uh, determining all of the genes that might actually be influential in autism. And how, however, um, the, you asked about autism brain net, and I'll say more about that in a second. But one of the issues of genetic uh, gene expression is really where the genes are expressed and how that influences the, the characteristics of autism. And um, a, a, a recently uh, published paper in the American Journal of Human Genetics uh, by Diaz et al. Uh, received uh, brain tissue from autism uh, brain net. Uh, and what they were able to show in short is that a condition called DUP15Q uh, which is a duplication of portion of the 15th chromosome, um, which we now we know is uh, a neurodevelopmental condition that increases the chance of having autism by 40 fold. That when you actually look at the the effects of this uh, genetic variant uh, on the genes in the brain, that there was surprising heterogeneity in how that change affected. Uh, different cell types in the nervous system. And we think that it's highly likely that understanding the phenomenology of autism will ultimately depend on looking at where gene expression is you know, most influential on behavior, which is in the brain. So, um, so what is Autism Brain Net? Um, so Autism Brain Net is a, a program of the Simons Foundation. Uh, what we do is collect we process, we store, and we distribute a donated brain tissue to advance autism and related neurodevelopmental disorders uh, research worldwide. In essence, uh, Autism Brain Net is uh, building a resource to enable the worldwide community of autism researchers uh, to explore the autistic brain. So autistic individuals uh, or individuals who had autism during life who pass away, um, they, uh, donate their uh, brain to Autism Brain Net. Uh, we process it, we prepare it, and then we distribute it to investigators who then explore it, uh, like the investigators who uh, published that recent paper uh, in the American Journal of Human Genetics. Yeah, so um, all of our work 
uh, is based on the premise that studying the brains of autistic individuals will provide insights into the biological causes of the challenges associated with autism. Um, it's important to know that um, this fundamental research can't be duplicated either by um, animal models or computer computer models or or, or uh, other uh, forms of, of research, really to understand the impacts of uh, genetics and really to understand the underlying biology of, of autism, it will be necessary to study the human brain. So our hope is that, and, and this is a you know, a process that is taking place, but by developing this resource, uh, increasingly scientists will be able to probe the human uh, brain, determine the biology of autism, which will then point us to targeted treatments uh, that will help to uh, alleviate or mitigate some of the challenges associated with autism. Mm -hmm.